All right, Coach, go ahead and tell us how recruiting and signing day went uh, this year. Well, I think we, uh, we, we achieved another successful recruiting year. Uh, first off, I'd like to congratulate our, our great football staff and our recruiting coordinator, Gary Lanham, who just works tirelessly to get the best people uh, we could possibly get uh, academically, first and foremost, and then as football players, uh, secondly. Um, overall, we, we, you know, we, we felt, again, it's another, another strong class to add to that 2008 class and certainly going to add to uh, uh, the success of our program. And we think we've got a, a good group of players, upperclassmen-wise, uh, that, that will propel us the next two seasons. And then this 08 group and then the 09 group for this year will allow us to uh, continue that success. And uh, I'd also like to thank the, uh, the uh, school and the university and President McLean and, and Rusty Elliott, our athletic director, for assisting us. And, and all the other people, Dr. Greg Henton, who represented uh, the faculty uh, uh, and presenting uh, to our recruiting uh, weekends. And again, we can't do it with, uh, with we couldn't have successful uh, classes without support from everybody. So I'm very grateful for that. Last year, you focused on both offensive and defensive line. What were the needs that you addressed in this class? Well, when, when you look at our needs, last year, uh, we, we, we still, we, we lost a few people. You know, obviously we lost David Hill, Matt Bioclia on defense and John Rawl and Leo Thomas. And those are the only four seniors we lost. So. Uh, from a number standpoint, you, you, we didn't need anyone. Uh, we've got 90 right now in the spring, and um, but we felt that our defensive line, and particularly uh, up front uh, in the trenches, suffered somewhat because we were light. Uh, so we wanted to address the nose guard position. And Devin Johnson, our current guy, is a great player, and we're going to add to his, uh, you know, his ability there with putting some good people around him. And so we, we signed a couple of outstanding nose guards and, and defensive linemen. And also linebackers. We were very thin last year at the linebacker position. We addressed that need, and we recruited and, and signed some, some outstanding linebackers. And also in the secondary, we felt that we needed depth and, and players that can run uh, at the safety and corner position, uh, and we certainly met that need. And offensively, we just uh, we, we added some very good athletes uh, to an already potent uh, group, we think. so. Trademark so far of your tenure has been getting in-state kids. Kids has that tradition continued in this class? Well, we're happy to say uh, and uh, that, that we did meet that uh, objective, and we think we've we've done very well in, in, in the state of West Virginia. Again, the pride level we have for the, for this state and, and getting these players a chance and getting all these uh, all staters and, and making it a West Virginia All-Star team uh, is something that it's it's our pride and joy. And, Again, being very strong in the Panhandle, uh, the Northern Panhandle, and the Canal Valley again, and in this area, you know, North Central West Virginia, along with other areas, uh, the western part of the state as well. But uh, again, it's it's what we want to do every year, and, and it's something that you know I've made a statement as a head coach that I'll never leave the state's border to, to recruit players, and uh, I'm happy to say that uh, that that we have uh, you know that I've have not done that again this year, and we're excited about the West Virginia players that we signed this year.